after the studio era. By the 1950s, instead of traditional idealized portrayals of characters, filmmakers started creating tales of rebellion. This era saw the rise of films featuring darker plot lines and characters played by edgier stars like James Jean, Ava Gardner and Marilyn Monroe. Post-classical cinema is a term used to describe the changing methods of storytelling in Hollywood cinema from 1950s to the 1980s. New approaches in the storytelling like disorderly narrative patterns with plenty of flashbacks, storylines with twist endings and blurred lines between the antagonist and the protagonist were seen in the films of the times. The characteristics of post-classical storytelling may be seen in the film Noir film Rebel Without a Cause in 1955 and in Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. To adapt to the times when television started substituting cinema as a home entertainment medium, Hollywood began producing films for TV in order to compensate the money it was losing in movie theaters. This marked the entrance of Hollywood film industry to the television industry. Films like Bonnie and the Clyde, The Graduate, Guess Who is Coming to Dinner, In the Heat of the Night and Dr. Doolittle also signaled a change in Hollywood cinema. In the 1980s, films began to be made in a form-like structure designed only for audience appeal. Out of these overly marketable films, very few made it to the list of classics. This decade is recognized for the introduction of high-concept films. These films with central concepts offering an easy hook to marketers had little to do with actors or characters. Movies like Mars Attack, Ghostbusters, E.T., Joe's, Alien and Demon Seed could be easily described in 25 words or less and was marketable, understandable and culturally accessible due to its fresh themes. By the end of 1980s, it was generally recognized that films of that time were intended for audiences who sought simple entertainment. Many studios sought to capitalize on the advancement in special effects technology instead of taking risks on experimental or thought-provoking movies. The future of films looked uncertain as production cost increases and ticket collection continued to drop. Although the outlook was bleak, films such as Return of the JD, Terminator and Batman were met with unexpected success. Filmmakers like Francis Ford Coppola, George Lucas, Martin Skorowski, Roman Polanski and William Friedkin came to produce movies that paid homage to the history of film and developed upon existing genres and techniques. Due to the use of special effects, the budget of film production increased. To save money, more and more films started to launch production in overseas locations. Multinational industry conglomerates bought out many studios including Columbia and 20th Century Fox.